Hi, my name is Seti and welcome back to the channel where we make educational technology easy for you. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add virtual backgrounds whenever you're on Zoom. So let's dive into it with another flipped classroom tutorial. Now make sure you stick around till the end of this video because I'm also going to show you where I get most of my video footage and backgrounds from. So let's dive on to Zoom and let's have a look at the settings we need to switch on in order for us to be able to use virtual backgrounds. Now go ahead and open up Zoom. Now once you're here, you're going to be clicking on the cogwheel. Now the cogwheel is in the top right corner and that's where you can find your main settings. So we're going to go ahead and click on that cogwheel. And then here on the left hand side, we're looking for virtual background. Now you can see it already gives you a preview of a virtual background and this preview is going to demonstrate how that virtual background is going to look whenever you're holding a conference call. Now you can go with a static image, you can see there's a number of built-in images or you can use one of these video files. Now you are not limited to just these files. You can upload your own video files, you can upload your own images. Now the built-in software of Zoom is pretty good at figuring out where you are and what your background is. However, whenever you are using video footage, make sure that you do not move too much. Because when you do start moving, and I'll demonstrate that here, you'll see it does struggle a little bit picking up where the background is. So in order for that virtual background to look more realistic you'll want to just have a normal conference call and keep your movements to the absolute minimum. Now two more additional settings you have in this menu are down at the bottom so you can turn on I have a green screen and you can mirror your video so when you mirror the video obviously it is going to switch the sides and when you have a green screen behind you, well then this effect is going to work even better. But as you can see from this footage, I do not have a green screen behind me, so I'm not going to tick this box right now. I'm going to close my settings and I'm going to start a meeting. Now, as you can see, my virtual background is switched on because I've activated it in my settings. But let's say that you want to join a meeting and you do not want to use that virtual background. Well, you can always switch it off manually. Now in the bottom left corner here next to that stop video, we have an arrow. Now when we click on that arrow, it goes up and there we go. We have our virtual background settings. That brings me straight to that menu that we were in earlier and I can now change it back to none. Now when I close this menu, I'm still in my meeting. Now you can change this halfway through a meeting or you can change it for some parts of the meeting. By all means, play around with this. Let me know in the comment section below how you are using virtual backgrounds. Now as I promised at the start of this video, I'm also going to share with you where I get my backgrounds from. So let's go ahead and open up our browser. Now here on the browser, we're going to look for pexels.com. Now on the Pexels website, you can search for lots of amazing stock photography and video content. So what I'm going to look for is a tech background. So let's go ahead and type in tech and then simply search. Now at the top, you'll see there are three options. There are either photographs, or also video contents. Now I'm going to be looking for that video content because I would like to have a video as my background. Go ahead and click on video and then simply scroll down until you find a background you'd like to use. Now let's say that I want to use this background, I'm going to click on that. Now once you've opened up that video, what you're going to be doing is go to that top where it says free download. But don't just click the download button. Make sure that you select the drop down arrow and that you select a format that is below full HD. In other words, 1920 by 1080, that will work, but anything higher or higher resolution will not be accepted by zoom. So here we can see we have the original which is 1920 by 1080. That's absolutely fine. I can use this. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Now that I have that in my folder, I can open up my settings again. So back into my settings, we're going to go to the settings, virtual background. And now in order for me to bring this video file into zoom, I'm going to have to click on that plus icon. So let's go ahead and click on plus. There we go. We're going to add a video and find that video file. 
I now have that video file behind me, it's playing behind me and it just adds a little bit of personality to your Zoom conference call. Now do let me know in the comment section below what your favorite backgrounds are. Do you prefer photographs or do you use video? And also where do you get your footage from? Now once you've left your comment make sure you scroll back up, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. Now the bell notification is important because otherwise you will not be notified of new videos whenever I upload them. In the meantime thank Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.